Good stuff. Welcome everyone. Good morning and thank you for joining me for another Chen style Tai Chi class. Uh, we're going to start today with a little bit of uh, lymph work. Um, I've chosen this as our warm up because we've just had St. Patrick's Day. Apparently he turns the stone over as in helps spring come in and uh, makes everything nice and warm. <laughs> but at this time, I think a lot of people are getting sniffles and colds and bugs. So it is really useful to help protect ourselves and our immune system as best we can. So I definitely recommend you keep your fluids up, uh, take lemon in your water in the morning for vitamin C, um, keep warm and out of drafts. Don't go out with wet hair. I have wet hair at the moment, but I'm going to dry it before I step foot outside and doing regular lymph work can really help. So let's salute with right hand in fist, left hand straight, pull back the thumb with feet together, hands together and press forwards. Good. So we're going to rub our hands. We're going to do a variation or sort of with bells on the big six lymph sequence. So I'm going to add some of my uh, own movement. So we're going to start with our hands to the chest, make fists, stick onto the breastbone and gently move the flesh over the bone. And if you want, you can turn a wee bit in your center to get the movement going. Make sure you walk down the breastbone, careful over any jewelry, please. Uh, and we don't want to be pushing into breast tissue because that can be quite painful, but just moving the skin, the flesh, over the bone of your sternum. Good, and now we're going to make cupped hands and do a little drum roll up and down the chest. Good. So this is your main drain for your lymphatic system. Everything dumps from left and right in, and then it goes down and then it goes back into the digestive system and is excreted uh, in various ways. So let's rub again. And now we're going to go to your left collarbone. So I'm going to my left collarbone and we just stick the palm on top of the collarbone and start to move it around. So again, you can use the other hand for support. And we just basically want again to drag the flesh over the bone. So think of unsticking any little uh, adhesions. So, um, the fascia tends to be sticky and if we're not moving it kind of sticks everything together and reduces uh, functionality uh, so we want the lymph to be flowing so easily because nothing is stuck so you've moved it around now cup your hands and give that whole area a bit of a thump so above and below the collarbone on the collarbone itself good and shake out and on the other side. So a colleague of mine said to me, you know, lymph, lymph work makes me really tired. Stick to the collarbone and move. And yes, it can do, especially if you are fighting or have just been fighting an infection. You can find these ex exercises exhausting <laughs> or you can actually feel very tired after um, you've done it. But it's because you're helping your body to flush out toxins, and pathogens and all the nasty yuck that we don't want in our system. So cup the hands and pat. So you may feel tired after it, but as long as you keep your fluids up, your body will be thanking you a lot. You'll shift all that stuff out of you rather than just letting it sit and wait for its opportunity to cause havoc. So we want to flush. Let's rub our hands again, please. Now we're going behind the ears. So you can do both hands and it's just a gentle stroke. You have this muscle, the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid. So it's uh, linking the sternum and the mastoid. <laughs> so the top and the bottom from the head, behind the ear, down to the throat. Good, and you might notice your sinus is draining even just doing that. Now we can take hold, just sort of gently press and do little circles from the ear down. Let me see if you can see that. You see the direction I'm going? I'm pressing forwards towards my center line and then down. And it's very gentle if you're doing that, just very gentle. Good. And then a little pitter patter 
from the back of the ear down behind that V-shaped muscle, the SCM. Good, and let's do it on the other side. So we're going to take hold behind the ear and we're pushing forwards towards the, the center front line and down. So in effect, you're milking the lymph down. One more time. You could, you could work your way back up, but you're always milking forwards and down, if you see what I mean. Good, and pitter-patter. No thumping of the neck, very gentle. Good, okay. On to the inguinal, no, sorry, the auxiliary nodes. That's the armpit, basically. So we're going to lift one arm and just drape it over your head to get it out of the way. You can use your fists or open hand, but we want to get into the armpit crease and gently mobilize. See what I'm doing? Mobilizing the flesh in the armpit and around the armpit. So on the arm and on the body. And you can use your fingertips as well. You're just very gently stretching and releasing the skin, which is stretching and releasing the fascia, which again is helping the lymph to have freedom to be moved with physical movement. Good. And cup your hand again. So remember cupped hand, not a flat hand. And you're wanting to make clip clop noises like uh, the, what are they? Coconut shells making horse noises. You know what I'm talking about? We want to get the clip clop noises. Be careful if, uh, if you're hitting breast tissue, it might be quite uncomfortable. So just try and get the flesh underneath and around the arm and the pecs over the pecs, but not breast tissue itself. Good, on the other side, get the arm draped and comfortable out of the way. You can go in with fist or open hand and just start moving things around. Good. So as I say, detox can actually be quite impactful. It can really make you feel, oh my goodness, I need a lie down. If you have the opportunity, if you feel that way, have a lie down, otherwise, just take it restfully if you can. Have lots of water, you know, I'd say a pint after this, after your class. A uh, pint of water, not a pint of cider or uh, alcohol, but water uh, or herbal tea or lemon in water be very good. Hot water, I think, is better. But if you're having lemon, cup hands, please. And having lemon, like straight from the lemon, which is what I would do if you're having lemon. Don't get the pre-squeezed stuff that you get on Pancake Tuesdays. Um, if you're having lemon, put it in just room temperature water or cold water. Don't be putting it in boiled water. I know traditionally the Chinese do put it in boiled water, um, maybe for hygiene, for the water and all the rest of it. But actually you're killing the vitamin C if you put it in boiled water in hot water. Uh, so just putting it in, in, you know, bottled water or filtered water, mineral water, then you're getting the vitamin C as well as the cleansing agents. So yeah, something to be aware of. Good. So we've done our armpits. Now we're looking at the abdomen. So we rub the hands again, just to get the energy flowing. Remember every time we move, we're pumping lymph. So this is even pumping lymph between exercises. We're going to go to the abdomen, one hand above, one hand below, and just gently move it around. Do you see I'm moving my body rather than moving my arms? Because that's tiring, whereas this is easy. I'm sticking to my body. So as I move, I'm stretching the flesh. And you can try moving around different parts of your abdomen if there's any areas that feel stuck or uncomfortable, work them a little bit. Just be careful, obviously, if there's any broken skin or infections, you don't want to be irritating it by rubbing it directly. Good, so circle in each direction, make sure everything is covered. The traditional Qigong way is actually to go in circles around the large intestine. So you go up your right side, I'm sorry, up your right side, across and down your left side. 
following the colon, but you would go in both directions. So then you'd go against the colon as well. You'd go in the other direction. But for this, we're kind of sticking and moving. Um, so variations, whatever feels right, whatever you can do comfortably, do it. You could get your fists in there as well. But I find for this part, because it's a greater area, unfortunately, uh, I use open hands. Good. And then we want a drum roll. Get a cupped hands and just give everything a bit of a thump. Meridian. Right in the center. And shake up. Good stuff. Now, I had acupuncture the other day and a uh, lovely lady in Sligo, Lauren, and she was um, palpating my abdomen saying, she would tell me when, when it's uncomfortable, tell me when it hurts. And she was working away and she was going, does this hurt? I'm going, no. <laughs> and she says, oh, you're in really good condition. And I'm thinking, it must be all the lymph work that I'm doing and it must be all the Tai Chi and the master lock open doors or seven star rotations that I'm doing because it's all turning and twisting and it's all working this area. So uh, yeah, I was very well pleased. So um, touch wood, it stays that way. Yeah, we'll keep working at it. Good, okay, so we've done the abdomen. Now we go on to the crease of the legs. So we have major lymph nodes in the tops of the arms and the tops of the legs. So these are sentinels to break down cancerous cells and pathogens and all these nasties before they even get to the mandrian. They're like little, um, uh, little army barracks ready and waiting to fight infection and gunk before it even gets uh, into the digestive system and all the rest. So very important area and it's really important because it's linking your body and your legs if this area gets stuck, say if we're seated all day or not moving, uh, it's a natural barrier for our circulation. So it's really important we keep this area free. So let's get in there with uh, fists to one crease. Sit down a little bit so that you're creating the crease in your leg. And then again, moving your body, move the flesh across the crease. So you're giving it a bit of a stretch. Now, sometimes when um, I've had Willem give me treatments, when he moves his hand on my belly, it feels like this area is tearing. It literally feels like the flesh is tearing. And it, I've had a few panicked moments thinking, oh, my skin is tearing. But actually what's happening is the fascia is unsticking. So don't be scared if you feel a strange <sniffs> pulling sensation. Be gentle with yourself, but the skin is not going to tear. If you do feel tearing sensations, that's good. It's the fascia that's unsticking, which means that chi and energy and lymph and all the rest of it can flow so much more easily. So we could do a little drum roll there. Just be careful of any delicate areas, especially if you're a gentleman. Uh, but um, we'll come back to it and we'll do a chopping action. So let's rub the hands again. Every time you remember, rub your hands between and get in there to the other side. And again, little circular movements. You don't have to move the flesh a lot. It's just a little stretch. Just think of Velcro. You want enough to unstick any stickiness that has gone on there. If you find when you get up of an evening off of your chair and walk across the room, you can circle both ways. If you find that you're a bit kind of like, oh, like this before you start to free up. Oh, that's better. If you're like that, that's fascia sticking. That's that's what it is. You can do your little drum roll. It could be a sign of just energy depletion that you're a bit tired. Um, and there were times, oh gosh, about six or seven years ago, six years ago, I'd come home after my day's work, lie on the sofa for an hour, get up, and I was literally like this. And it would take me a few steps, and then, oh, that's, oh, that's better. And I was thinking, flip, am I getting old? What's happening? But it was energy depletion. I was actually... Um, 
overdoing it and not resting enough. And I was very, very active. I was driving for more than I was teaching and it was just a bit much for me at the time. So actually seeing an acupuncturist and not even with acupuncture, but with a few um, very carefully positioned magnets on my legs, that stiffness went away instantly. Within an hour, it was gone. <laughs> and I was literally moving like I had concrete poured in me. You know, it was horrible before that. So um, don't worry about these things. If you feel all of a sudden things have changed, it's not necessarily at all the aging process. It may just be that something's gone out of whack and it can easily be sorted out if you do something about it, if you see someone and get it sorted. So let's feel into the crease of the legs and we're going to sit down a little bit so that it's easy to find and we're going to chop, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're done. Nine is enough and you'll feel tingling happening there. You'll feel that whole area going, Whoa, what's happening? What do you want? <laughs> and that's what we want. We want the lymph to be able to flow because the energy is flowing and there's ease of movement in the system. Good. So now we have the backs of the knees. These are called the popliteal nodes. Popliteal means the back of the knee. So we rub the hands together, go into your ski jumper position. So sit back, bend the uh, angle of the body forward and rub behind your knees. Now give the knees probably do something. And good, so that's your big six, excellent, but we're going to continue on. Remember we started with the chest and you could always go back to the chest. In fact, let's do that, get onto the chest and roll around. The reason being, this is your main drain. So everything is returning to here. And you could do it with fists or open palms, bump again. And you could, if you wanted to, go back to the chest. In fact, another way to do it, gentler way, is this brushing action. This is taken from manual lymph drainage. And um, you may not know much about me, but one of my other aspects i'm a therapist and i specialize in lymph work so i have i'm qualified in manual lymph drainage but i'm also a specialist in lymph work in the emmet technique this is manual lymph drainage so gentle soft and rhythmical movements actually pump the lymph superficially and let's try down the neck as well but by moving it superficially, it naturally moves deeply as well. So what happens on the outside will happen on the inside kind of thing. So we have lymph vessels just under the skin. Very good, let's take hold of the head and we're going to fix our wig. <laughs> so this is to help the lymph draining from the head. You see what I mean by fixing your wig? You just place your hands on your head and just as if you were wearing a wig, reposition it. So you're moving the flesh across the bone. Do you see the, um, the continuity, continuity? Yeah, so you can do that, very good. Or you can get in with your fingertips and literally move the flesh across the bone that way. So that's helping to shift the lymph in the head. Now, if you have nice, uh, dry, uh, clean hands, you can rub your hands together and you can massage the face as well, just gently moving the flesh over the skull in this little fountain position. Now, we've moved on to the second, the uh, another section of lymph, and this is the washing without water. This is the sinus work. So if you are fighting infection, often you get blocked nose, blocked sinuses, headache. This will help with that rub again. Good, so now do the same thing, but now we go over the scalp, round the back of the ears and down. Do you see the um, continuity of it? That we're still draining down the neck. Good, but this time we're involving the head. And of course the head's really important because the brain is in there. We want the brain to be happy. We rub again 
I can feel the lymph draining out of me. It's lovely. Good. Okay, so now let's look at specific points. We go beside the nose. We take the middle fingers away. So you have one finger underneath the eyeballs. And we just do little circles there one way and the other. This is the Qigong traditional way of doing it. It's similar. It has parallels with Emmet. Uh, you could just stick your thumbs in there and press for three seconds and release. And you get little dimples for a second. Don't hold it for longer than three because we don't want to irritate the system. We want to release it. So we rub again and let's go to the bridge of the nose. And again, we're just going to do little circles. You can do it one way and then the other. But actually, the way that will milk the lymph is to go in or down and out, down and out. Do you see that? So I'm doing it with two fingers just so that you can see. So it is literally like you're milking your sinuses. Just think of little udders. You want to sort of guide it towards the exit. <laughs> Good. And let's go to the eyebrows. So just inside the eyebrows, we press in and down. Again, we're guiding the lymph down and we're going to borrow a little bit from Emmett here and we're going to pinch the eyebrow ridge. So we squeeze it for a couple of seconds and release. Do you see what I'm doing? Squeeze and release. And we can actually press in and a little bit down and release. In and down and release. And we're gonna do the same mid eyebrow, pinch the brow itself, the bone, press in towards the center and release, in towards center, release, in towards center, good. And again, rub. Now we go to the temples and we gently massage the temples. Now actually you can go in either direction, you can do one and then the other, because you have roots of exit for your lymph, both forwards and back, so we can go forwards, we can go back. Very nice for tension headaches. Good, nearly there. We rub again and we pinch all the way around the ears. Give them a good wee workout. Remember that your ears have pressure points that stimulate your entire body. So if you're thorough pinching your ears, you're actually giving your whole body a kind of workout. It's like, it's reflexology basically is what it is. So we pull the ears in all directions, get in there to all the nooks and crannies. Good, give them a wee pull, lovely. Rub your hands again. And now we go to the back of the neck. We take hold and gently pull. Again, we are releasing the fascia, but we're also releasing the ligament new shine here, which is big ligament at the back of the neck. And it, if there's tension there, it can affect the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, the neck, the shoulders, everything, the jaw. Good, so just gently grasp and pull. Lovely. And we're going to finish, we've already done the bowel stuff. So we'll do the kidneys, hold the back and feel the warmth of your hands and gently rub. And I'm just realizing, because I still have wet hair, it has soaked my kidneys, which is not great. But anyway, rub. So we have to be careful of these things. Not sitting in wet clothes, not going out with wet hair or with wet clothes. Get yourself into dry clothes as soon as you can, please. Get those kidneys nice and warm and hold. Good, so even when we're not doing direct lymph work, as soon as we start moving, we're pumping the lymph. And that's the last thing we're going to do in this whole sequence to finish our warm up, And that is to do Bai Bing Xiao, a hundred ailments go away. Last, uh, yesterday I was watching a video saying that those little rebounder trampolines are one of the most healthy things that you can do because every time you bounce up, your entire lymphatic system opens and every time you bounce down all the valves in your lymphatic system closes so you're pumping your lymph with all your body but look at this ancient qigong has it all sorted you don't need a rebounder to get the benefits but we're going to lift the arms up for added pumping action and getting gravity to drain the arms as well 
we're going to go limp at the wrists and as we bounce on our heels we're going to let our hands bounce up and down so yes i know it looks silly but it's very very healthy so bounce 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 and breathe good big smile on your face and that also opens your energy lines. Bounce, 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 bounce. And let go. Let your arms swing. Very good. So the calf muscles are like a second heart. Your lymph naturally will flow downwards with gravity. But what gets it back up to the main drain? Physical movement. And the calf muscles, every time they work, they are pumping the muscles which pump the, move the veins with their valves and moves the lymph with their valves back up. So every time you go up and down, you're pumping lymph. And the bounce is getting gravity to do the work or anti-gravity that like ball being thrown in the air, the pump is effortlessly sending the lymph up, then the valves close so it can't go back. So uh, if you are concerned about getting swollen ankles, if you're not getting the circulation that you would like, walk or bounce. And very quickly, things start to shift. Very good. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is really daily maintenance. If you can, you can play this video back and just follow me for the first half. If you don't have time to do a full Tai Chi session, very useful for your immune system to flush out and, um, you know, just gunk from your system so that you feel fresh. It's a real good detox and it will definitely help. It'll help with liver health um, if we're continuously helping to detox our body. And springtime is the time really to focus on looking after your liver. So try to avoid lots of fatty foods, um, you know, deep fried foods, not great at this time of the year. And try to avoid um, lots of heavy spices or lots of alcohol, actually. Now, St. Patrick's Day is over, we'll all be good. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's have a go now at our full Lao Jia Ilu form. All Tai Chi is excellent for lymph work, for draining that gunk out of the system. It's a detox. And this is 15 minutes, 20 minutes of non-stop movement. So let's give it a go. We lengthen up, please. Calming down. Lengthen the fingers down. Listening behind. Ready, start.
End of part one. Relax. Part two. Stacking back right. First, guard hands. Now hike that on yours. Relax to center. Left gathers right. Scoop down to the left. Left arm and leg across. Prepare and kick. Turn. Prepare and kick. Turn to the back. Gather in fists. Left leg lifts. Turn palms. Pull back toes, kick left. Three steps. Planting flowers. Turn to the back. Untwist. Turn up and over, monkey holds speech. Kicking section, release, step right, false kick, step left, real kick, step down, step back, left palm faces out, and step for protect the heart punch. Hands in fists, and square up, fist under elbow. Beautiful, release, ward off. Roll back, left palm faces in, prepare, circle, to face the back. So we're going to step left and scoop the arms, gathering right, lift, turn palms, pull back toes, kick right, 
Toy soldier position, quarter turn, and good. Prepare to punch. Relax to center. Punch. Part three. Fluid, relax. Now we have to adapt to our spaces. One day very soon, I'll do another recording outdoors for you and just show you what it's meant to look like to my best abilities without any of the room adjustments. I'm going to skip back to get more room. Roll back, turn palms. Gather your little ball and step through. Jade Maiden plays shuffles. Three steps. Lungs I. Second lot of cloud hands. Again, I'll leave more room, maybe you do too. We go over the little hill, into the left, and kick. Stump, step, turn, seesaw. Golden cockerel stands on one leg. And that's the end of part three and the beginning of part four. Step back again. White crane opens its wings.
This time with the twist and flick. Left arm up. Stump. Punch to the diagonal. Four corners, ward off. Single whip. And your final set of cloud hands. to the back or high pat on the horse. Relax to center. So this is your end game. We do our little circle. We gather to the left. Pull the right shoulder back, left heel out. Keep turning, turning the hands as you turn your body. Re release. And we have our kick with right foot, left hand, toy soldier, three-way punch. And, and this is our special punch going diagonally down, relax to center, punch. Good, our scoop and uppercut. Back and close up. Always followed by single leg. Wrap in fists. Roll, step back and open. Left heel back, right toes turn out and kick the back foot. Good, now keep that position for the purposes of this video. We're going to swing the back foot round so that we have the same position facing forwards. Up and over for our kick. Step back, gather, and throw it out, punch. Back the way you came. Expand, come through, hammer, punch. Jing gong, pummels the mortar. Place, going to the base of the body. Think of sealing in your good energy. Point to the floor, release. Fill right. Close left. And recover. Very good, <laughs> very good. So we got once through the whole form. I've been feeling lately that we've been neglecting the first half of the form. And no, it's not. Well, how do you say whether something's difficult or not? We've done it a lot, but we've left it for a while. And so I felt that we needed to keep it going a wee bit. Anytime I ask, is there a section that you want to cover? Often the answer is the end bit. We've five minutes. Is there, I'll take one question. If anyone has a question or one specific, 
movement or moment? Is there anything that's jumping to mind that is just not happy? You need to uh, unmute yourself. No, that's okay. All right, if there isn't, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so then let's have a little warm down, please. So just gently turning. The section four, folks, um, I think the reason why we find it so difficult is it's the sort of virtuoso section. It has a lot more of the internal spiraling in the smallest sense. So a lot more of the silk railing to this business, you know, getting the chi flowing. So if we practice these silk movements, in fact, let's do that as a little bit of warm down. It's also going to really pump the lymph. Talk about lymph movement. This will do it. So place your hands on your abdomen, please, with the blade of your hand sitting on the ridge of your hip. That's so lovely. A J has just landed in our garden. How beautiful. <laughs> so they're such shy birds. So we're going to do a little rotation. Now, you think, looking at it, that it's a movement of the arms, but it's not. It's a movement of centre, and we're rolling the centre forwards and back. Now, in the silk railing, we can kind of emphasise the movement in centre so that we get the hang of it. But if you see it from the side, we're doing this little pumping action. So again, you can see the calf muscles are working, but they're working because this ball is rolling around. That's the feeling we want, this rolling of the ball. And the hands mimic the movement of the ball, but actually moving the ball moves the spine. You get this little wave effect going up the spine, which then sends the movement down the arms. Good, change direction, please. That is my phone saying, stop teaching, Jim. Good, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> I've set the alarm because I get carried away. Good, so if we're going forwards, if we're going backwards, doesn't matter. It's good to practice both. But if you practice that, first of all, you'll get lots of lymph moving, <laughs> which is good after you've done um, the lymph sequence but it will also get you ready, that idea. Most of the time, Tai Chi is using movement one, which is left and right, or the combination of movement, which is left and right and forwards and back. So it creates this kind of wrapping, turning movement. But occasionally we do use the pure movement two, and this is movement two, where we're going forwards or backwards on the vertical plane. But it's rarer to do that pure movement, but you'll see it again and again in section four of the form. So I want you to play with that, please. Just have a wee play, roll the ball. It's really good exercise. You'll notice it's hard work and yet it's so small. And that's the irony of it. The smaller your movement internally, the more powerful it is. Think of this business, you're expending energy, whereas this, you're creating it, you're generating it, but you're keeping it. So you're building up the chi within your body. And it's, it's powerful. You're still exerting the effort, but you're containing it, it's smaller. So any of these movements are very powerful. Good, we better finish, folks. So again, just a little pat, just to... Oh, chill out after that intense stuff. Uh, we will look again at uh, the end of the form at part four, but I do like doing um, parts one and two as well, just to keep it, keep it on the radar. Good, shaking out please. Maybe next week we won't spend half an hour doing lymph work. We'll do a short warm up, remind me, and we'll have more time on the form. Again, let's go back to our little by Bing Xiao, 100 ailments go away. And why not, let's add the arms again and let them do the wavy, wavy thing, which pumps the chi as well as the lymph. Good, and let it go. Good, oh, I hope you feel you've had a good workout today. I hope that the, the form is coming back to you. 
and that you're enjoying your practice. That's so important. Let's take right hand in fist, please. Left hand straight, pull back the thumb with feet together, hands together. We salute. Sure somehow. And you can say Lao Sure Pao. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you next time.